What's up everybody, my name is Vince. Welcome to the channel. If this is your first time here, you might not know. In a previous video, videos, I think it's multiple videos, you wanna go and check them out. We talked about the collet on our fuel line of impact drivers from Milwaukee in their M18 line affecting and how they affect generation two and three. The issue is, is that the collet, when you're placing pulling force on the tool to extract a bit or any type of force to pull back on the tool while having it under load and it, it's impacting in reverse, the bit will, will let go. The problem is, is that when that bit lets go, the ball bearing in the collet mechanism, which is a quick insert mechanism, a lot of times it won't re-engage. And if you're working overhead, okay, or if you're, even if you're working down low, but you're on a ladder or a lift, and, and as you let your tool down, your bit, drill bit, driver bit, can come loose, okay, or come free, and leave the tool, okay, and potentially could hit someone down below. You know, 20, 30 foot drop of drill bit, okay, onto someone that's not wearing a hard hat, or even is wearing a hard hat. You know, it's either gonna knock them out or wake them up, right? So, we talk about in this video what's going on as far as the improvements that Milwaukee is trying to make to the Milwaukee Impact and what they're gonna be doing about it. Go and check that video out there. Here's the deal. Some of you had told us that it's, it's easy to fix this collet. It's easy. It's easy. All you need is to swap out the ball bearing in this collet. Well, today we're gonna to try to make that easy fix happen. And hopefully it works. It's coming right up. So the fix is in this bag, supposedly the fix is in this bag. These are four millimeter ball bearings. These are a ceramic coated or ceramic bull bearing, something. Ceram they're supposedly, from the advertisement, these are stronger than the chrome molly or chrome ball bearings. So that's why I went with these. Now, everyone told us all we need to do is, and we've had this collet apart previously, okay, to lubricate it, but there's a single ball bearing in there and it engages the tool in the flat of the quarter inch hex. I just want to confirm that these are indeed four millimeter. The good part is, is that they're in a bag of 10. So all of the affected fuel impact drivers, I could repair up to 10 of them. I think these were like, might've been like 10 bucks, five bucks, I don't know. But quite frankly, 50 cents per ball bearing or even a dollar per, per ball bearing. It's not, I mean, it's, you know, it's not crazy. You can see here, this ball bearing is 3.98 millimeters. I mean, that's pretty doggone close to, to four millimeters. So many people in our comment section said that the four millimeter ball bearing was the fix that I, I had it. I had to test it for myself. You know, leave it down below. Have you fixed your impact from Milwaukee by putting in a four millimeter ball bearing? How'd you make out, okay? And if it didn't work out, how many times have you called 1-800-STALL-DUST to let them know that you have a problem? Let us know down in the comments section and let us know if you've been having a problem with your impact driver because it seems like we're not the only people affected. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull, there's a retaining ring on this collet. These are, these are channel lock uh, snap ring pliers. A lot of you said that uh, you don't like these. We did a review on these. You can find that over here. I'm really anxious to see if this will work because I, I want it to work. So we, we got our snap ring pliers in here. I don't know if you can see it, okay, but there's a gap. We put our snap ring pliers in between the gap and then we opened the jaws on those snap ring pliers. It, it allowed us to get our screwdriver underneath that snap ring, okay? Then a flat washer comes out, okay? Then your spring comes out, okay? Then your, then your collet comes off. 
you'll see there's another, there's another snap ring right there, okay, at the bottom. Now, you'll see a secondary spring here, right here, okay, and then you'll see the ball bearing right there. This spring retains or pushes, puts pressure on that ball bearing to keep it engaged. The problem is, is that that ball bearing comes loose. I don't know if it's the ball bearing that's magnetic or it's the screwdriver, but look at them side by side. I guess the four millimeter does look a little bigger. So the diameter of this ball bearing is 3.92 millimeters, which means it is indeed slightly smaller. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to first insert the ball bearing and it does indeed fit. It does indeed fit. Okay, so we slid in that, I mean ever so slightly bigger four millimeter ball bearing. And then I'm going to put a small amount of grease on the collar to lubricate it. So I have some automotive grease. I'm very lightly, this is the red and tacky, very lightly going to lubricate in here. You know, I've never, I've never, like I'm literally very, very, very excited to try this. I'm really hoping, and I've gotten so much feedback from everybody that this is the solution. Look, our collet fits right back over top. I'm so excited to see if it will indeed work. Okay, let's insert that. Then we put our flat washer on. Now, here's the, here's the, here's the tough part. We have to push down this spring, okay? We only have two hands, obviously. Push down this spring with its flat washer and then engage, okay? And then all we have to do is, this is so simple. Let's push, push down on that seat clip with the two fingers and boom, it engaged. We just wanna make sure that it's fully engaged, okay? And it looks as though it is. Leave it down in the comment section below. Is this fix gonna, is this gonna work? Are you as excited as I am? I'm pretty excited. So if you tuned into our other video, you'll know that we've stated that we've not ever had the, a problem with our collet. Although these are fuel impact drivers, this is the M12 Surge and this is the M18 Surge. These are also quick and sir collets. We've never had a problem with these tools letting go of their, of their bit. Fuel, surge, no trickery. And you'll see, the tool will drill the hole much slower than the Gen 3 impact. Not, not bad though, fairly, fairly rapid and one-handed operation, I might add. Here's the deal. We're gonna throw it in reverse. We're gonna pull up. What is it about this impact? It's a quick insert collet. What is it about this impact that it will retain its drill bits? So after we've made our improvement by putting that larger ball bearing in there, let's see, maybe, maybe our quick insert collet is no longer quick insert. Okay, it is still quick insert. I will say this, I did, I do feel like I'm noticing a more force required, which is not a bad thing. 
I mean, if you were just in, a da in daily use, you would never notice the difference. Wow, so much easier, so much less effort required in the surge. So much less, both of them. So much more, more force required. That almost makes me feel like the comments section, the very cool gang was correct. But of course, the proof is in the testing. We just happen to have a few screws already standing up here. Wow. No problem driving screws. None at all. That's the thing. The Gen 3 Impact is the most powerful, one of the fastest impact drivers on the market. It's like the, the collet is a black eye. And some people say, you know, I, you know, you can live with it. The reality is, though, if you're a contractor, small business owner, or if you're just concerned for the well-being and, 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 and people's safety on your job site, okay, or you're paying insurance premiums, you have to think twice about having someone use this tool up high or on a ladder. Because, like we said, if a bit came loose, you can injure somebody. I mean, no problem for, for driving duties. You know, some people will say, you know, that's what impact drivers are for. The, the reality is, the uses for an impact driver is ever expanding, okay? That's why tool companies sell impact ready drill bits, fastening bits. The, the tasks that you can do with an impact driver grows every day. Well, maybe not every day, but it's growing, okay? So people do like to drill with an impact driver. Thing is, is that I do a lot of driving tasks, but I think we need to move on to the tasks that cause this impact driver to let go. And that task is drilling. And drilling with fast cutting, self-feeding paddle bits. Thing is, is that it probably, if it was going to exhibit the issue, it might even do it with twist bits. So now that you mention it, we should try that. You're right. I heard you. I heard you yelling. But what about twist bits? So we have some red helix titanium twist bits here. Okay? We're gonna drill, we're gonna drill just a half inch bit. We're gonna drill right into this nice knotted area. And that's the reality of why people like to use impact drivers, okay? To drill holes. They, they, they work quick. And on top of that, if you were gonna spin some of these bits with a hammer drill or a drill driver, you probably would have to throw a handle on the tool. This is one-handed operation. We're going to give it the benefit of the doubt. We're going to say it had something to do with the operation of the tool. Okay. It did, it did extract on the second pull. There's no way it will happen again. Let's try it with this double fluted self-feeding auger bit from Milwaukee designed specifically for impact drivers. Now here's the deal. See how fast it, it went in. It drilled the hole. You see how fast it did that. You want your impact driver to retract just as fast. Let's see how it does.
Leave them down in the comments section below. Did we use the wrong four millimeter ball bearing? Do you, do you think that we should just wait to hear from Milwaukee? They say they're working on a resolution. They've asked us to be patient. Should we just be more patient? Leave it down in the comments section below. I kind of am let down that the repair didn't work. I appreciate everybody saying that the four millimeter ball was the, was the solution, but uh, don't seem like it is. With that, I want to say I appreciate each and every one of you being here. Do you know a way to fix this impact driver? If you do, we want to hear about it. We're all ears. Video's over, but I know you want more. So this is how you're going to get it. First thing you need to do is pretend you're this guy. And you're here at the birthplace of freedom. Now ring that bell like it's 1776 and let all notifications through. What? You're not subscribed yet? Well, smash this button here. After that, watch this video here, here, and maybe over here. See you later.